Um, the Maya study was uh, designed uh, some years ago. Or, so the, the study enrolled patients between uh, 2015 to 2017. So this was a, a phase three uh, international randomized study uh, for registration. Uh, looking at uh, lenalidomide and low-dose decks as a control arm versus daratumumab lenalidomide and low-dose decks for uh, transplant ineligible newly diagnosed multiple myeloma patients. So both, both regimens given to progression. So that's, that's likely something important. Uh, so the study is already well known because the study was part of, uh, it was a late breaking abstract for ASH 2018. It was published in the New England Journal for the Primary Analysis in 2019. So what we did uh, this year at, at HIHA, uh, we, we did report a, a pre-specified uh, uh, overall survival uh, interim analysis of the study uh, with a median follow-up a little bit less than five years so. Uh, in fact, uh, median follow-up 56 months. And, uh, and so the first thing I, I would like to say, uh, I, I would, of course, the, the presentation was on, uh, on overall survival, I would say, but um, it's very important to also to say something from the primary endpoint, so the PFS. Uh, the median PFS has been reached with uh, lenalidomide and low-dose dex at uh, 34 months, uh, a little bit less than three years. Uh, the median PFS has still not been uh, reached for DRD, but we are close to, to the median because the, the 60 month PFS, so the five year PFS rate is 52.5%, uh, is which means uh, that median PFS will be around five years. Let's say maybe 60 months, 62 months, I don't know, but let's say it's five years. And here, here you have something extremely important in this study population because uh, what we have to, uh, before the Maya study, what we have in terms of PFS for the elderly patients is median PFS at best three years. When you look at, uh, so that could be a quite uh, long discussion, but you, if, you, if you want to, to, to make it simple, with VRD, your median PFS is around three years. So when you combine bortezomib, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone, when you combine daratumumab with bortezomib and, and melphalan, so the daratumumab VMP regimen, the median PFS is three years. And so basically, the, the, with daratumumab, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone, your median PFS is no longer three years, it's five years. And uh, uh, you will not see so many studies uh, having this kind of uh, PFS benefit by two years. And so this, the, the, in terms of PFS, this study will, will clearly uh, set a new benchmark for PFS in older patients with myeloma. So that's a kind of reset of, the, uh, of myeloma for the elderly, I would say. Then uh, we have, of course, we said something on, on survival. And uh, so the median survival has not been reached in either arm. Uh, but uh, here you have the five-year OS with daratumumab, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone, uh, OS rate is 66% of patients. So we have still two thirds of patients at five years. So it's very difficult to speculate in this kind of elderly population. I, I, as you know also, and this is something extremely important from my point of view, 44% of patients in the Maya study have an age between 75 and 90 years. So that's a definitely a study for elderly and very elderly patients. And um, so not so many registration studies in, in, uh, in uh, transplant ineligible patients had uh, uh, such uh, a large proportion of, of patients over the age of 75. So the, uh, the, the point here is that what I, what I said about PFS and survival is partly, or you could say largely, but it's partly driven by a, a, a subpopulation of very elderly patients with an age over 75. So, the, um, so we, we, we might anticipate median OS 6.5 to 7 years, for example, something like that, which will be uh, uh, good news for, for patients. Uh, the, so this is for efficacy. For safety, in, in fact, we, we, did not, we did not find additional uh, unexpected adverse events, so no, no, no additional, no safety concern, I would say. Um, we, you have a little bit more neutropenia in the daratumab, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone arm versus uh, lenalidomide and dexamethasone alone. Uh, a little bit more uh, grade three, four infections, and uh, including pneumonia. 
but uh, generally speaking, the regimen is considered to be, uh, from my point of view, very manageable and uh, with no, no safety concern uh, in general. And, uh, and the, the final point is that, um, uh, of course, uh, as you know, this regimen has already been approved in several countries. Uh, the regimen will be further improved by the use of sub-Q daratumumab because, uh, and uh, for example, even in the Maya study, uh, recently patients have been allowed to switch from Dara IV to Dara sub-Q. Uh, and this means that in the real life, in fact, the, the, the Dara Lendex arm will, will have daratumumab subcutaneously. And this will make uh, things uh, uh, easier for uh, elderly patients, I would say. So they, so this is this is a this is a very effective regimen. This is a safe regimen, and it is uh, it is easy to 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 deliver. And uh, and from my point of view, it's a it's a very efficient uh, balance between efficacy, uh, tolerance, and, and and ease of administration.